Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm making a simple and delicious classic baked cheesecake without the springform pan. You are going to need sugar, lemon juice, cream cheese that is softened and at room temperature, a couple of eggs also at room temperature, vanilla, and you're going to need a six ounce graham cracker pie crust or a nine inch pie crust. They're both the same thing. And then for the topping, you are going to need sour cream, sugar, and vanilla. And as always, I will make sure to put the recipe in the description box so that you'll have exact measurements. Okay, so I've got my softened cream cheese in the bowl and to it, I'm going to add my sugar and I am just going to mix this up. Next, I am going to add in my eggs. I'm gonna add in one egg at a time. And then I'm going to add in my vanilla and my lemon juice. And next, I'm going to grab my graham cracker pie shell. Okay, I've got my graham cracker pie shell and I'm just going to pour in the mixture. And I am going to put this pie shell on a cookie sheet and I'm gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's set. So while the cheesecake is in the oven, I am going to whip up this, <clears throat> excuse me, the sour cream topping. So I have a cup of sour cream here. And to that, I'm going to add some vanilla and some sugar. And you're just gonna give it a good stir. And I'm just gonna set this to the side until my cheesecake is ready. So I just took my cheesecake out of the oven, and so now I'm just going to carefully spread that sour cream mixture on top. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this back in the oven. My oven is still at 325 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for another 10 minutes or so. I just took the cheesecake out of the oven. I am going to remove it from the cookie sheet and then place it on a cooling rack for an hour. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. Then I will bring it out, cut a slice so you guys can see how it turned out. So here is the cheesecake. I let it cool in the refrigerator for about three hours and I cut out a slice. I topped it with cherry pie filling. Of course, you don't have to do that. If you wanna to top it with another fruit filling, that's fine, or even chocolate or caramel would also be delicious. But you can see that layer of cheesecake on the bottom and then that sour cream topping on top. It is so good. I did take my um, pie out of the aluminum um, pan just to make it look a little bit better um, but you can see that it cracked right there so it was not cracked at all in the pie tin but I think I was a little bit rough when I took it out and it cracked but I wanted to show you that you can take it out put on a nice serving plate and then you can garnish it with fruit or whatever you'd like I didn't do that on this plate of course I just wanted to show you how easy it is to come out so anyway, this is it. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.